Since the beginning of time, mankind has been forced to compete for survival. This spirit of competition has reached a pinnacle in the relationship of two best friends who battle against each other. Why? Glory for the winner. Humiliation for the loser. This is Kenny versus Spenny. I don't even know how to describe this week's competition. Kenny, it's all yours. This week's competition is who can sit on a cow the longest. The stupidest thing we've ever done, but we're doing it. Neither of us have ever sat on a cow. I think I've seen a cow. I think I petted one at some of those farm shows or something. I petted a cow. There will be no cheating, Spencer. Who <laughs> You're can telling sit me there's going to be no cheating. The long is not lie down on the cow. Listen to me. I'll sit on a cow. That's it. Okay. But I don't want to see you lying down. I don't want to see any glue or straps or ropes or That's anything. That's fair. Crap. That's fair. Okay. I'm not doing it. He's, smart. He's getting smarter. Okay, everyone get ready. I am going up to the farm to meet the cows, pick the most docile cow they have, and uh, hopefully the farmers will let me pick out a real mean one for Spenny. All right, I'm here at a uh, farm. We're gonna learn about cows because my strategy in this competition is to make the cow that I'm sitting on love me. What is a cow? What does it, it do? What is it? What is it like? What, what does it think about? I want the cow to not want me off its back. So if I can make the cow happy in any way, shape, or form, maybe I'll be able to stay on longer than Kenny. And that, uh, that's what it's all about. Hello, I'm Ashley. Ashley? Amanda. Amanda? These cows that you have here are, are what kind of cows? They're castrated males. Whoa. Do you know what you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Now, do you want to go in the pen with them? Let me know a little bit about what kind of germs I'm going to be exposing myself to. There's nothing, really. I mean, they're a very clean animal. No, I can't get any kind of uh, infestation. How do you fit four cows into a car? Two in the front, two in the back. How do you know when there's a cow in your fridge? The milk is missing. How do you know when there are two cows in your fridge? The door won't close. How do you know when there are three cows in your fridge? You can hear them talking. How do you know when there's four cows in your fridge? There are cars parked out front. Good, good, good. Now, now, now I, w I don't, why does he keep doing that? Because she doesn't like her head touch. You're not supposed to touch I'm the head. I'm not touching that. Because then they'll bunch you. I'm very scared. Uh, Oh, Jesus. What's the difference between a cow and Spenny's girlfriend? No, really, I'm asking. What's the difference between a cow and Spenny's girlfriend? I have no idea. What's the deal with the smell? Explain this to me because it is... Manure. Yeah, that's manure. <laughs> I'm not happy. Um, cow poop on my hand. It's not going to go. Uh, so, oh, no, just wipe it on my jacket. Are you serious? Yeah, it, it, no wash. Here, go ahead. Just bug. There you go. It's gonna bug you. It's, it's more than bugging me. It's okay. terrifying me. That looks like manure land. I can't. I have to walk into that. See, this is the thing. How, you gotta help me. This is how do I make this cow like me? <laughs> I was practicing my cow impersonations because. I'd like them to think that I'm a cow, too. Who knows, they'll probably be, uh, you know, less into bucking me off. Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can wash them off inside. Wash them off? I have to get new shoes. <laughs> I've got mega amounts of duty on my foot. So can we clean my shoes off? Is that yes. Possible? Yep. 
Mm -hmm. So we need high pressure. Basically, I want to do two things. One, I want to sit on my cow yeah. for as long as possible. And two, I want my friend's cow running all over the place trying to buck them off. You know, cows aren't meant for riding, so... So, um, where are the cows? Oh, they're up over here, in the barn. Oh my god, there's actually cows in here. Ah. So this is Daisy? Yep. Mm. Wow, it's a cow. This is unbelievable. I do not want to sit on a cow. How the hell did we get roped into doing this competition? Now, is it even possible to sit on a cow? We don't know what she's going to do when you get on. Oh. Yeah, just hop on. There yeah. you go. Oh. Ah. Easy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I, pulled, I pulled the muscle getting on it. Oh. What would you recommend as the absolute cheapest, most comfortable way for me to have a saddle on the cow, something that I can grab onto? We do have a bareback saddle pad, got fleece on the bottom, okay. quilting on the top, has a little handle on it. So. And uh, will it be comfortable for the cow? Yes. Okay. And this, um, These are them here. Whoa, Daisy. Giddy up, here. little doggy. Whoa. Okay, so I'm probably going to buy this. How much is this? That one is $89.95. Can we, can we afford that? 89 bucks? Yeah. <laughs> Do I like being massaged? So the most important thing that I have learned from today is jock strap. She's the best cow on the farm, right? Yeah. Oh. Daisy. It's you and me, baby. You and me are going to humiliate Spanny, my dear. Right <laughs> yeah. It looks like we're uh, using dairy Holstein cows. What what should I expect? I mean, what's what's going to happen? Most likely, not much. Worst case scenario, something might scare it, and it'll run. Daisy, I will see you on Thursday, my dear. And. Uh, you are just truly the most beautiful cow in the world. Ugh. So I have to win this competition. You're aware of that, right? This is, uh, it's all fun and games until we get on these things and then it's, it becomes a serious competition. Try not to piss it off and um, give it something to eat and keep it nice and calm. Come to me, brethren, or we will beat Spenny. I am one with the cows. What pisses off cows? Let's say your friend's on a cow. If you can get him off the cow, what would you do? Probably try and startle the cow in some way. What about like, dumping a whole thing of sweet grain in front of it the second the competition starts? You know, just a whole bag of feed. I think that would be the that's, that's the best. That's, a smart. that's See, the best thing. I don't think I could have done anything better than actually go up to the farm, meet the farmers, the people who know cows the most sit on a cow. I got the best cow, Daisy. I feel totally secure in a victory. They appear to be very comfortable with me. They're walking towards me. I am your friend. I will be mounting a cow tomorrow, and I will try to stay on that cow for as long as possible. That is my goal. That is my mission to defeat Kenny. And I'm getting in touch with my inner cow right now. Am I putting you at ease? Are you comfortable with me? I'm comfortable with you. I need steel toe shoes. That's top priority. Oh, I guess I'll fit. I found my top. Yeah, I am almost ready. I also got a really good pair of grip gloves. They have little rubber balls, which I think will allow me to hold on to the cow a lot better. Well, I think we're just about done. Steel toe boots, paratrooper outfit, grip gloves. So you want to pick up the boots for no. 35? 30 or nothing. No, 30 bucks. I can. Of course 35. Can. 35. I can. 30 bucks. You are a tough customer. Give me, let me give you 20 bucks and I'll return them. 
can have a plastic bag or uh, do you need another, you do you need another 20? Now you asking too much. Thank you, you very do. much. And that's why I'm here. I try to have the best. Okay. Thank you. How long do you think you uh, want to try to stay on this animal? I've been told uh, it could last anywhere from 2 minutes to 15 minutes to yeah. 5 hours. So a little word of advice. Keep the mouth zippered up because that tail coming out could just, oh my god, in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. I do not want to be um, covered in any kind of cow dung. What about headgear or something? After talking to you, man, I am going to be covered. <laughs> If I lose the competition, I will not eat the cow. Can't blame the cow. Let's go for steak. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Daisy, if you mess with me, baby, ho, ho, ho. I'm going to turn you into a nice little steak dinner. How can I be scared of an animal that I'm eating? When I'm on that cow, I'm gonna know that part of her is in my stomach. And that's gonna mentally let me dominate her. I'm gonna ride you tomorrow, and you are not gonna buck me off. I'm not scared of you. I'm superior to you. I eat you. This is the day. We are uh, on our way up to the farm. Do you have where? any idea where the farm is? I don't know. Where is it? Is it far? I have no idea. I haven't been up there yet. I'm a little worried about getting hurt. Uh, well, supposedly cow. they're just picking two cows. They're just picking two cows for us, and that's it. Do you think you're prepared? I am so prepared, Kenneth. You wouldn't believe it. You really wouldn't believe it. If you fall forward and lie on the cow, then that's it. You're out. Uh, no. Yeah. I don't want to argue about this. Yeah, no. no, it's first one to touch the ground no. loses. No, you sit on the cow. What's your preparation? Like, what are you doing? Are you putting anything on the cow? Um, I'm going to know. You might as well tell me. So you'll wait till I get I don't want you to make any last minute changes if you like what I'm doing. So You're not tying yourself to the cow? Of course not. Are you tying anything to the cow? What? Are you tying anything to the cow? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. You'll see. What are you going to hold on to? Well, why would I tell you? I'm not holding on to anything. I'm going bareback, baby. Bareback? Yeah. Good. Sounds like a solid strategy. It is. Well, there you have it. We both think we're going to win, as always. Wish us luck. About uh, 15 minutes away from uh, White Meadow Farm, where the competition's going to take place. I feel pretty confident, uh, certainly not overconfident. It's uh, raining quite hard, so the most important thing is get the cow to like me, get the cow to be comfortable with my presence, my smell, my weight. I think I've prepared myself properly. I've got my saddle, I've got my uh, anti-cow feces uh, outfit. Uh, I'm a little nervous about putting the saddle on. Uh, I know cows don't usually have saddles on them, so that could uh, ultimately be a problem. So. I don't know how long this uh, cow thing can last. We could be sitting on the cows for, uh, theoretically, a day or two. But once we're uh, on the cow, that's it, man. There's no turning back. I got a dog strap. The single most important piece of protection ever created in mankind, the jock strap. Extra large. Steel toe. I really hope the rain stinks. I am uh, suiting up for the competition. As you can see, they've supplied us with uh, luxurious dressing room facilities. This is duct tape, so uh, it should keep the cooties safely away. And he's wearing a pair of rubber gloves. You know how slippery rubber gloves are? Like, what's he doing? Now that I've completely uh, 
duty proofed myself. I'm going to get into the uh, extra duty proof one piece jumpsuit. Kenny, do you realize we're pioneers? What? Have a new sport, cow sitting. Spenny, this is like a dairy farm, not Chernobyl. What are you doing? <laughs> I got like a, a jog stuff, that's all I got. Helmet. Well, first you gotta get the hood up. So the hood's gonna go over them. I don't know. What is he doing? Okay, it's too loose. Hmm? Duct tape the helmet. Dana, I want you can to... meet Dana, yeah, but this is kind of, uh, isn't that wimpy? Yeah, it's like cheating, isn't it? I'm not tied to the cow. This is tied to the cow. I'm going to be holding on for dear life. What is it? The padding on there. Okay, this is all legal. Don't uh, be uh, intimidated. So can I please uh, meet uh, my... Uh, meet Dana. Yeah. Dana the cow. Where's, where's Dana? She's in a mad cow pen. Okay, take me to Dana the cow. No, please. she's not mad yet. And she will be. Dana. I've got a little treat for you. Dana, what's wrong with these cows? Come here. Dana. Okay, it's not going well. We're not getting along. This isn't good. Let's saddle her up. Dana, why is Dana so upset? As usual, I do have a little surprise in store for Spin. Good girl. Good girl, Dana. I hope Daisy remembers me. Once I dump that feed in front of her, I really hope she'll just eat it and I'll be okay. So, okay. Have you had, you haven't had any cow lessons? No, I've never. Uh, a week. I'm, I'm not. I'm not getting on it until Kenny does. Where is he? Right behind you. All right. So, uh, you ready? Let's have a look at your face. Don't kill yourself. Sweetheart, it's going to be totally cool. Apparently, uh, Dana likes to be top patted on the tail, so I'm trying to calm her down. Okay, are you mounting? This is pretty comfortable. Count of three. One, two, three. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I won! I won! It was a 30-second competition. Daisy, I love you. You are the best. Ah. You know, this sitting on a cow thing's just no problem. Hurt my hand. You all right? Yeah. You feel okay? Yeah. You didn't break anything? No. Just my heart. Victory! I have won! My cow didn't even move! <laughs> He's covered in cow shit. What is this? I threw the dog at Spenny's cow and it ran away. What is this? That's a little present for Dana. <laughs> Daisy, you are the greatest cow in the history of cattle. Dana!
we are being driven out to the largest manure pile at the farm. Uh, Svenny is so scared of dung and crap and feces and poop that I'm going to cover him up to his head in it. Spenny, just lie down in it. Oh, it stinks! No, it stinks! Spenny is going to be covered from head to toe in cow poop. And this is a big pile of manure. Just like Spenny in his little saddle. How's your saddle, Spenny? Oh. Warm! Ah! Oh. Okay, it's enough. I'm covered! Oh, did I told you now you're ahead! Okay, that's it. Spenny is fully covered in manure. Like he deserves to be. He thought his saddle would help him, but it did not. Who's driving me home? <laughs> Nobody. You're hitchhiking, my friend. So Spenny, what's it like being covered head to toe in manure? It's a highlight of my life. And uh <laughs> I'm out of here. You're gonna get some. You better run. Oh my god, did he deserve that?